Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have learned the HTTP requests and all those things, how to make the different types and then the interceptors also we have learned it. So now it's time for us <coughs> to learn the HTTP uh, client testing also. For example, let's say that in our app.component.ts file, so if you try to observe carefully in our app.component.ts file, so we are having some particular data, something like we are making a fetch data call like this. So if you want to write the test case for this means how you can write it. Let's go to the app.component.spec.ts file. So this is the code which you are having. So I don't want to, I will remove this entire thing. Okay. And we need to have a before each. So here, first of all, what we need to do, we need to get the component fixture. Component fixture means so the complete, the complete uh, component thing. So here you can get the component fixture. It is of type component fixture of app component. So this one is related to the app component. So that's why. And also we need to have, and this one should be let component. Okay. So next for we are testing with the uh, HTTP HTTP client. Right? So we need to have a HTTP testing controller, HTTP testing controller. So I will try to explain you these all the things testing controller. And this is of type HTTP testing controller. So we need to have, so we, need, we will be having all the methods related to this one in this HTTP testing controller. And the next one, which we will be having is the component. Let component is equal to app component. Okay. So this is the thing. So here we will be importing this app component and we need to have the necessary providers. The providers are nothing but um, provide HTTP client. We need to provide the HTTP client here, provide the HTTP client and we need to provide the HTTP client testing also. So this is the important thing. So for testing so that it will mock the request. So uh, first you need to provide the HTTP client and then afterwards only you need to provide the client testing. If you provide it first client testing client means thus the functions will not be overridden. So here whatever the functions it is there the testing uh, classes it will try to override it. So the necessary things. So fine. So this is the providers we have provided. It. So now let's try to get the component fixture. So component fixture is equal to. So we need to get the component fixture. So this one how you can get it test bit testbed dot create component so it will try to create a component of this app component that's it so it will create and if you want to get the http testing controller means this is a simple thing http testing controller we need we need it right testbed dot inject sorry inject inject of http testing controller that's it so now we need to have a component so there is nothing but component app component is equal to component fixture fixture dot component instance that's it component instance now you can have the component fixture dot detect changes so just you will try to have the detect changes that's it so this is the before each which we are writing and now we need to create the HTTP controller so now here it should make a call and update the data so that is the main thing right so here you will be having the call so like this so this is how you will be having now here this is our app component data as well so this is the fetch data and now this one should make a call so how can how can it make a call so let's try to do it so for this one what you need to do it is first one let's create a mock response so here you need to create the mock response mock response is equal to data and you can write some some data okay so this is our mock response automatically this mock response will be arranged so now here you need to call the component dot fetch data so we are calling the method so now when you are calling the method the http call will be made so now you need to take the constant request sorry request is equal to http testing controller dot dot you will be having like this expect one so only one call should be made so that is nothing but so this is the thing so this one only for this one one call should be made so this one is done or not let's try to check it and now here so request should be uh, expect one only one request we are expecting so now we will be checking expect sorry expect request dot request dot 
method so method should be to be to be of get request so the request which we are trying to make is the request that's it so now so it is trying to make the request call so here it will make a request call and here what we will try to do so we will try to send the response so here you will be having request dot flush flush of mock response so here this one will send the respond with the mock data so now this one will respond it and here we are trying to check whether the request is made get request or not so we are trying to send the mock response so now here we are checking that expect of component dot data dot to equal of what we can say the mock response so it is there or not we'll try to see so this is how we will be doing it now if you try to check here it is got success and here if i try to respond so here we, it is able to it, it can able to make a call and update the data so what we have did it here so you need to understand the basic thing so testing of the request for any external dependencies and all those things you must mock the http backend so your test can simulate the interaction and the remote server so you, we will be using the angular common slash http testing so here we will be using library it provides the tools to capture the requests made by the application make assertions about them and mock the responses to emulate your backend's behavior the testing library is designed for a pattern to which the app executes code and makes the request first the test then expects that certain requests have or have not been made or not so now here we to begin testing usage http client so configure the test bit and include product provide http client and also the provide http client testing in your test setup this configures the HTTP client to use the test backend instead of the real network. It also provides HTTP testing controller which we will be using to interact with the test backend. Set expectations about which requests have been made and flush response to those requests. HTTP testing controller can be in injected from the test bed once configured. Keep in mind to provide HTTP client before the HTTP client testing as provide HTTP client testing will override the parts of the HTTP client. Provide HTTP client. Do it, doing it in another way around can potentially break your test. So now when your test make request, they will hit the testing back backend instead of the normal one. So you can use the HTTP testing to make assertions about this request. So this is how you will be making the HTTP request. So now what I have did it. So here we have prepared one mock response and I am trying to call the component fetch data method. So here I am trying to expect only the one request has been made. And here I am checking the request that request method is to be uh, get and I am trying to send the mock response. So it is get means I am trying to send the mock response. And here it is trying to do it. So if I, if I, if I do it a post means then you will be able to see the error. So here it will be failed. Yeah, it has been failed. Expected get to be post. So here it should be get. That's it. So if I try to change the URL, let's try to see whether it can be passed or not. So here, so expected one matching request for this one SD, but the request is like this. So here, it should be like this. So this is how we will be making the HTTP client testing thing. Hope you understood about this uh, concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.